Are you free for coffee? Welcome, welcome. Guys, I love this episode topic. Y'all, Oprah's bestie, Gail King, is single and ready to mingle. Long time. She's been single a long time, but I think she's really ready, really open to having someone in her life. Sharing her life with someone. I mean, Which I that takes know. time too. She's talking about it. Let's say that. Okay. Because I, I, she might have been ready. But <laughs> but recently she appeared on the Pivot podcast and she revealed what her type was. So she, she likes African-American men. Mm-hmm. She loves the way black men say baby mm-hmm. and the way they say motherfucker. Come on. She was, Come on, Samuel Jackson. Gail feels some kind of that way. That greases her peach. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see. The quote is, there's something about how a black man says it. I'm attracted to that. Sometimes a well-delivered curse word is very intelligent to me. <laughs> uh, she wants a man with humor, kindness, and can go from the backyard barbecue to the White House. That's a good range. Listen, is Gail King my spirit animal, y'all? <laughs> and then, so we were talking about it. We we're like, who could we fix Gail up? We if thought about Gail this for was days. Your friend, who would you fix her up with, y'all? This took us days, but I think we found. I feel like the perfect. Well, you now, know who my boy okay, is. I'm a, okay, now I have heard her in the past. Gail's kind of tall, and she wears heels, so that makes her really tall. So she likes tall guys, and I remember her. This was years ago, y'all, probably on Oprah's show, talking about it. And Oprah was saying, like, you know, you're kind of limiting yourself. There might be some really great short guys. And she was like, well, it's easy for you to say because Stedman is like 6'3 or something. Yeah, he's tall. So basically that was kind of a non-negotiable for her. Now, this was back when. I don't know. She didn't list tall on her list. So she might have. And she is tall. She's 5'10". Okay. To give so she, reference. I don't so know. So I would say with heels, you're close to six foot. Oh, yeah. So she, right? she wants a big guy. But back then she was saying what she liked is you want when he puts his arm around you, you want to feel small. She wants to feel small. That was her rationale. Okay. okay. So I don't know. We There's a lot. There's kind of a lot. Gail 69, by the way. 69, so we need age appropriate. Yes, you know how Lisa feels about this, y'all. Um, we had quite a few, though. We did. Now, okay, John Travolta was one, but, you know, he knows Oprah and Gail. And his, you know, there, I do remember when Oprah had that, she had this fabulous party years ago. And he and his wife, his wife was still living then. Okay. And they were there and the thing just the whole thing so i'm i know they have met so i don't know if there's really a a spark there yeah but he's age appropriate and he's available yes and and one of the guys you liked her with there's a picture of them together so i'm just holding my phone near me now y'all you know who i thought of kevin costner they're the exact same age you did bring this up he's tall he ain't black but my feeling is don't get so hung up on the exterior. Well, no, that's not I'm not, fair. I'm not that's sa- not fair. No, no, no. No. Okay, I'm not saying that you're not attracted to what you're attracted to. Okay. What I'm saying is, ha- have you ever felt a spark for someone that is so not your type? But we're not Gail. But I'm saying, <laughs> if you if you leave space for that. But maybe she hasn't. But Gail, you need to. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. You and Gail, Gail's older than you. You don't get to tell her what to no, do. No, but I, I think <laughs> that, now the, what I feel is character, integrity, those kinds of things are non-negotiable. Well, but her sexual attraction may be to brown skin. So that's just, it is what it is. That's going to limit us a I'm little bit. I'm not disqualifying that. I'm just saying. And I <laughs> but, don't want her to get with a booger. Okay. I don't, no, I don't want her to have a booger. I'm saying we all have a type. Natasha and I, you know, when we mm-hmm. were doing our guys, we yeah, talk about what we like. You know, Natasha with these tall, lanky, tattooed Baby, folks. Baby, call me. And, I mean, <laughs> you know, we all have a type. But 
just haven't you in your life? Yes. Sometime you yes. see somebody that is so not your type yes. and you feel a certain kind of way. Yes. That's all I'm saying. I agree. There could She could roll up on just somebody and like, hmm, that's all I'm saying. So maybe just saying mm-hmm. maybe Kevin Costner might be a hmm. Just saying. Let's, I don't know. Let's they're, move on. They're to age my appropriate. Choices. He's single. <laughs> he's available. But now he does traditionally kind of like him young because the mm-hmm. ex wife is what, 40 something? Girl, for Kevin Cos. Yeah. But okay. I'm just saying, get out of that playpen, Kev. Not that playpen. <laughs> Who did you think? Well, okay. When you first said this person, and I don't think they're single guys, but I like Charles Barkley. Oh, Remember, yeah, he's you not did? single. He's but not they single. do have great chemistry. You know, they, they have, have a show great together. Great chemistry on CNN. And it's they very, look so they look good together. They so, have great rapport. They do. And so no, I, he I understand single. he's not single, but, but he I, would that type. But of you guy. see, like I'm showing her a picture. Yeah, y'all. he's tall. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. He's tall. I get yeah. the safe feeling. You know, now for me, you don't have to be big as in weight, but I do. I like having to stand on something. <laughs> I like being oh, shorter. Yeah. You, I didn't want to feel, and I'm not close to way. it because one of my very near and dear, still a friend, actually favorite ex boyfriends is shorter than me. So it's it's not a no for me. Um, but I understand and her I preference. I get it. You don't want him hugging your knees. But <laughs> I mean, that's not sexy that's at all. That's but I will say this. I, I mean, I'm short and I like tall guys. So, I mean, and it is what short. it is. But on that note, I do know some shorter men that have a very strong presence yes. that makes them seem tall. Yes. You, you kind of don't miss the height. Yes. Because they're very accomplished and very put together and just carry themselves in a way that makes you look up to them. Yes. Just in a, I'm with some it. kind of way. So uh, I don't know, I'm with but it. I get it. She's tall. I like them tall too. I ain't gonna lie. And if you're tall, I, I can imagine you really want them tall. Now I feel like we picked a pick that is a genuine I'm going to say good match for everything that Gail so. said. I think so. And that is Lawrence Fishburne. Right. Now, y'all. what he's missing. Anime? Nothing. First off, I've heard him say motherfucker. <laughs> when, when Lisa brought up. <laughs> y'all, so I'm supposed to be going to see Tina and Broadway. And I had uh, two deaths in, in my family. And so I had to drive out of town for a funeral the day of the show. And my dad is a Tina fan. We've talked about this before. I mean, like devout Tina fan and saw her the day she was fleeing Ike and was like, oh, this is my time to marry her. Like, sir, this isn't, she doesn't <laughs> care about this right now. Um, read the room. Read the room, dad. <laughs> Such a devout fan. And so my dad's like, well, I mean, it's important, but it's Tina. I'm like, it's not real Tina. It's Broadway. But Whitney went to see you. Yes, Gather and Gab. Yes. She went so to see she it. Said loved it, was great. it. She said it was great. So I, I really hate that I missed it. But we're we're discussing this, right? So I'm coming back from this funeral. I've been very, very sad for obvious reasons. And we're like, who who are we putting Gail with? Like, we've done work, baby. I know Oprah's your bestie, but you need to put us in the ranks because <laughs> we have really spent time and effort. <laughs> And so she brings, we bring up Lawrence Fisher in some kind of way. He comes up, the hype matches. We know he can say motherfucker. And then she goes, Ooh, remember when he was Ike? And I'm like, Oh, sh- oh shit. Okay. <laughs> if you, if hard. you like him rough, you got it rough. <laughs> what was it? Sometimes we like it nice <laughs> and easy. <laughs> okay, Tina. <laughs> okay, Tina. We like it rough. I think this is a great pick. They are both. Yeah. And you know, he can, he's both because you guys saw him in Contagion and some of those other ones where he plays like a government official or something. And he's Mm -hmm. so put together and cool, but he can play rough too. I I don't know. I think he's a great, it would be a good pitch. They're age appropriate. He's in his sixties. I think he's a few years younger, but that's cool. Yeah, Um, but he's tall. He's he's 62. Yeah. Perfect. He's put together. Y'all know I'm trying to look up his height, right? <laughs> He's tall. I feel like we already well, know he, he dated, can say motherfucker. You, you guys, he was married to, is it Gina, Gina Torres? Torres. Mm-hmm. Who's tall. Yeah. You know what? Gina Torres and Gail King are the same height. Okay. 5'10". 
and she looks small next bow, to chicka, him. Bow, bow. Listen, yes, that would work. Y'all tag Gail because I'm I'm tagging. I Gail. think that would work. Okay, and just by the way, y'all. Speaking of second chance romances, the, it is rumored. What y'all know on. Only Murders in the Building, Meryl Streep was on this last oh, girl. season. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So they were saying that Meryl, who recently, you know, she's separate. They've been separated for years. Years. But they recently divorced her and the husband. But that she and Martin Short, her co-star. Girl, let me were, tell you something. The, well, they, they have, have funny man. Well, could they get have it. A, um, a little romance on the show. They do. So that was his little love interest this season. Now, he denies this, but guys, he is also very private. And he's a widower, which I I, I, lo- not, I don't love that he's a widower, but I love that for him. Yes. Like, how wonderful would it be yes. for them at and their age to find you their age? This is me, baby. They, we're about to say <laughs> They're not that much older than me. But I love it. I do and too. if it's true, I'm, I'm so I'm down excited. for it. I'm excited. I hope it's true. And I don't know. I th- This has been mentioned on our show before. Um, my now ex, which obviously, if you know me personally, you know, we get along very well. Meryl Streep is his, that's his jam. Like, She's so he gorgeous loved, and put together. He Just took me, we things. went on a date once. This is uh, like many, many years ago, like 10 years ago. We went to see Mama Mia. And if you've met me. <laughs> I went to the night, the, the midnight showing with Kennedy. You, oh, see, but this is. And wait, was that the one? No, no. Yes, we did go to the midnight one. For, I was but this is when it first came out. Us. Yeah, the first one. We're in jammies okay. and we go to the theater. Okay. I fell asleep, of course, because y'all know how I feel about musicals. But I was there. Listen, we went. Now, this was years later. So this is like, hey, we're doing a special um, studio movie girl, special showing of Mamma Mia. And so he's like, I love Mamma Mia. You should see it. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. Like, I don't want to watch it. But you like Meryl Streep. I'm like, yes, but you love her. So anything she's in, you're going to think that like- It's good. It's amazing. And I'm like, I don't love musicals. So we go and I'm sitting there. I've got my like chips and queso, all my studio movie girl stuff. I have beer. Someone hits my beer. Mamma Mia. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Everyone's singing. He's singing. And I'm like, I'm just the only woman sitting here. I was asleep. Sad my beer is on the ground. And I'm like, y'all are really into this. It's a whole situation. It, there, I mean, it's just like Taylor Swift, like the Swifties and yes. the Beehive and the, all the... When people are with it, they just like hairspray. It's, it's you remember how crazy oh, yeah, people Kennedy. went for yeah, hairspray? Kennedy. That seems like a Kennedy I have a, thing. I have a music... Uh, Book Club Kennedy yes. is very. We need loves to have her on again. Musicals loves musicals, but and yeah. you know what's funny about Kennedy? I mean, very well spoken, very intelligent, but very calm. And like her love of musical, she's into it straight up. Like she is so into it, and I'm just like, oh, okay. And you would think me, I'm like outgoing and funny, and I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I just don't get it. I <laughs> color purple. <laughs> Now what, that ain't a ba- music, but mm. but that just barely that just and at I can do that at the end. I got I was like now I'm songed out, y'all. Because out. when they break out in song <laughs> instead of talking, I'm my mind goes to what is happening. What what this is this is not real. I can't understand. <laughs> Could you speak and stop singing? Yes. Yeah, so I I kind of don't get it, but Meryl. She's very cute. Very. In, um, oh, Only Murders in the Building. Only Murders in the Building. Yes. You see her little kind of fun side, funny side. They just her kind of do it oh, her for was me, so good. y'all. I hope it's true. Guys, I hope it's true. And they, they were approved for um, the fourth season, correct? Yeah, I wonder if she's going to be on it again. At least a cameo. We, I feel we like need she, a little. We need to know what happens. I don't yes. want to give away this story. Kind of a little if you are, cliffhanger. If you all are followers like we are, um, on October 3rd, 2023, so this past October, Only Murders in the Building confirmed its return for season four. So usually that drops kind of around that time, like mid mid to late year. So just a little FYI. And y'all, I'm going to put Lisa on the spot just a, <laughs> just a little bit. She has been very vocal. You know, we love Bridgerton. We rocks with Bridgerton. It's our jam. And y'all, Lisa does not. 
She is not about I'm Connor and Penelope. Colin. Colin. You're right. I said, Connor, I'm thinking about your baby. Uh, y'all, yeah. I'm excited. That does nothing for me. Not even a little. Not even a not little. Not a little grease bit, on the peach. No. But it comes out. But Anthony. Mm. Because they, they said they're going to do. Let me tell they're going to go something. back and we're going to see like their little newlywed. Baby, stuff. they was getting it six ways from Sunday. But you know it. Now that I'm down for. I've never I'm wanted, just never Colin wanted someone to like Penelope. go down on me in a gazebo. But after that, <laughs> I'm like, sir, <laughs> only swipe right if this is your intention. <laughs> and then, okay, I want to point this out because this just goes into just the sheer acting ability of actors and actresses. I'm watching this and I'm sweating. Like, I'm like, oh, oh do my. Who? What do? <laughs> We all into that Viscount, we are baby. All into the we Viscount. have moved on, and so I'm I'm looking at everything, and he's he's openly he's openly gay, and I thought, baby, you can act your ass off because right? no part of this would I have ever suspected. No, he doesn't and not, give off. He it just it speaks to his acting ability. Yes, because in real life, I thought they were going to be together, like for real, and he has a whole man, so right, he does not right. want to be with her. Yeah, but guys, May sixteenth. I will be dragging Lisa's ass to watch this. We are. Two parts. It's so two parts. They've broken it so up. So part which two. Which I don't know. Do we like that? So the first four episodes will premiere on May 16th, 2024, which is just 10 days before my birthday. So I'll be watching. And then the um, next, so part two of this, which will be the subsequent four episodes, will come out on June 13th, 2024. So we'll be watching. You're going to you like know, it. Okay. Th- this is, I'm going to tell you all the truth. I think Colin and Penelope, the actors that play them are adorable. I think their characters are adorable on yes, the show. They don't give sexy. No. Is what the, you is. know what this is like? This is like, friends of my kids who get married and you're so happy for them but it's not and sexy. they but i don't want i don't want to know the details <laughs> this is not I, mm, no you know the and that's how i feel about them the duke was I'm a situation so happy for you keep it to yourself you know you know what i think whether we want to admit this or not we like the enemies to lovers story most people do because the duke while they were not enemies you know he was very standoffish toward, towards her she felt some kind of way next thing you know they're fucking on a ladder in the library and i'm i'm team i want a ladder in my library <laughs> so there was that then the viscount he was just so opposed and you're kind of following his I, I don't. To, I don't want to fall in love. I don't I want to fall in love. Want to have a wife. You know, he yes. loved the opera I'm girl. Do the right yes. thing. Yes. Yeah. And the storyline with the bees and the dad and the oh, it was so that was so lovely. I think my issue is we know Colin, we know Penn, and, and they're friends, and they're so friends. They're not going to have that dynamic. They're just no. They just while adorable, they don't really give off a lot of heat for me. Either one of them. <laughs> And I don't know if it's them combined. I think it's just individual. They just, Ma'am, what would you like your spice way. level? <laughs> they are very boy and girl next door type, aren't they? To you? They just don't read real sexy. But you know what? In fairness to Bridgerton. Now, if they bring it, I won't be surprised. Because the Viscount, when I wasn't feeling him the first we season. We weren't, remember? But they he brought it. You remember we weren't feeling him? Yes. Next thing so, you know, panties on the ground. Me. Surprise. Penelope, Colin. Colin, don't you do it. Don't do it. And Gail, we got you, girl. Now, you know, I like tall, lanky chocolate men. But the, now the Viscount, I'd switch yeah, teams. And he's short. I don't care. They're, case in point. <laughs> don't do that. No, Gail. <laughs> I mean, I know he's just, other than the fact that he's gay and, Damn and it. young and all the things. But doesn't he read okay. tall? You're right. Big dick. Now, if he just oh, like big dick in moseyed around, yeah. like wouldn't okay. you kind of feel okay. some kind of way? That's okay. what I'm saying, baby. Don't, don't. Uh, Gail, I'm on your team. Take okay. the detour. I'm on your team. Don't close the roads off. Just saying. <laughs> you never know. I don't you like, ne- I don't like that this Do is you such know, a good point. This is what oh I know. Gosh. It's 65 years. It's su- the surprises in life. That's, that usually make it true. worthwhile. And you're always, you never see it coming. So Gail could fall in love with a short white guy. If For he, real. If he didn't and, like the Viscount, I ain't we'll, mad at her. You know, it'll be cool. So I just wanted to find her person. 
Just saying. Sorry, Gail. Just saying. Up next, simple meditative affirmations that work. But first, a message from our sponsors. During hard times, it can get really difficult if you don't have anyone to talk to. Being alone with your thoughts can be an isolating feeling that can allow negativity to consume you. This is why we are sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages, and everything you share is completely confidential. You can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. So many people use BetterHelp that they are currently recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash free for coffee. That's betterhelp.com slash free for coffee. Okay. I want to know what you have this week. This is a good one. If I can say it, I always mess it up. I am fully and unapologetically me. Oh, that is good. Isn't that good? That is good. Okay. Mine is, I guess they're, they're, most of them are I am, but mine is I am already experiencing abundance. Oh, that's a good one. So that's, that is what mine is. In every way and every day. Now, listen, that's <laughs> it. Now was yours, it wasn't like Jane Austen or anything this time. It's no. Just, okay. It just, I just loved it. We're, We'll talk about that another time, but th- this was kind of a Willie Nelson thing, which we, you guys, we're going yes. in April to, to see Willie, Willie Nelson. Oh my Nelson. gosh. But that was my takeaway from, I saw the documentary, y'all. It's on Paramount Plus. Yes. Really good. If you like Willie Nelson, you know, my dog Nelson is named for Willie Nelson and I just love him, but really that was my takeaway from it. It is he is so unapologetically himself. He is. And he makes he just is him and he does what he wants to do and he is who he is and people love him for it. Yes. And that's it true. just comes out in his music and his life and his he's happy. It just it's so cool. Such a lesson for all of us. Yeah. That is that's a, that so is a great one. That's that's my new one. Okay, loves, thank you for pulling up a chair and joining us for coffee. Please subscribe to Are You Free For Coffee podcast wherever you are listening. We hope that you enjoyed today's episode and find joy in the little things. Until next time. Part of the Boundless Audio Podcast Network.